please come forward. Um, we're all very worried. Two weeks and no sign of a Vancouver woman. Her picture now on billboards. Investigators calling her disappearance suspicious. It is 5 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Giannolo. I'm Todd Unger in for Liz tonight. 61-year-old Christina Ace left her home near Southeast 123rd and 5th Street on a morning in late March, but she had never actually showed up for work. Yeah, new police records are now providing more insight into exactly what happened. Joelle Jones looked through those records. She joins us live. What did you discover, Joelle? Well, Jeff, these warrants add much more questions to an already mysterious case. They show investigators believe Christina misled her husband and her job about her whereabouts on more than one occasion. They also show her phone pinged near Glenwood Park here for the last time. Still, police believe her disappearance is connected to a serious crime or a medical emergency, and friends say they will stop at nothing to bring her home. Her face now on seven billboards across the Portland metro and thousands of flyers. But more than two weeks after Christina Ace vanished from her Vancouver home, co-workers say they will never give up but are starting to lose hope. Where is she? Where did she go? Or where she's at? She here one day and that's here the other day. This comes as warrants show investigators found a roll of duct tape and several hairs in Christina's 2013 gray RAV4 after it was mysteriously found outside her home the day after her disappearance with the rearview mirror askew and what appeared to be a powdery white residue like a cleaning agent coating several surfaces. I want her to be alive and I want her to be fine, but it's just too long that I feel like, I don't know, feel hopeless. According to phone records, Christina left her Vancouver apartment for work just after 6.30, March 26th, as her husband reported. But instead of heading to her job in West Lynn, the device traveled south on I-205 to Portland, pinging off the southeast Foster Road exit at 6.47, before arriving in a neighborhood north of Glenwood Park a minute later. Records show her phone stayed in that area for three hours, during which Christina called in late to work at 7.00. Then at 10, the device moves again to the intersection of Southeast Flavelle and 92nd Avenue for about five minutes before shutting off for the last time. We hope to find her alive. That's our biggest wish. In reviewing phone records, investigators found Christina misled her employer and husband as to her whereabouts on at least two other occasions, highlighting three times in about a year, two of which she left home at about 630 before notifying work she would be late 20 minutes later, similar to the day she vanished. Police say it's unclear where she was, but noted the Southeast Foster exit is exactly 20 minutes away from her home, adding it's likely she visited the area of Glenwood Park before the day of her disappearance. I've worked here for 20 something years right along with her and I've never known her to mislead us and say she was going to be here and not show up. And having worked at that Roseland Care Center for more than 15 years, her friends tell me that Christina was the glue that really held them all together and they are struggling to move on without any answers. Vancouver police say right now they are actively combing over video to try to put together a timeline and they are working now closely with Portland police. Both her friends and law enforcement are asking anyone with information to come forward. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News.